Hello, uh, my name is Alam Muthadasa. I am medicinal chemist. Today we will see the medicinal chemistry of some uh, drugs uh, that will inhibit the bacterial cell wall. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share it. Uh, let's see the structure activity relationship of uh, the first class of uh, bacterial cell wall synthesis inhibitors called beta lactam antibiotics. Beta lactam antibiotics are compounds that contain the beta, the four member the beta lactam ring. Here, this is a beta lactam ring, four membered beta lactam ring, four membered beta lactam ring. Therefore, compounds containing the four membered beta lactam ring, uh, they are termed as beta lactam antibiotics. Here we have a general example or structure of beta lactam uh, ring here. This is the general structure of uh, beta lactam ring. Therefore, beta lactam is the common uh, heterocyclic ring because it contains nitrogen as additional element in your ring. Therefore, it is heterocycle for many beta lactam antibiotics. The beta lactam antibiotics includes penicillins, cephalosporins, also moxalactam, norcardicin, Tainamycin, penams. Also, we have a newer, newer ger de generations or derivatives or analogs of these beta lactams currently we have. Therefore, this beta lactam antibiotics, uh, they are classified based upon uh, different things. Number one, based up on their fusion. Some of them, they are fused with a single uh, cycle, only two or uh, one uh, rings, or some of them, they may have even fused with more than one uh, rings. Therefore, these uh, uh, beta lactams, they are classified as monocyclic that contain only beta, which is beta lactam, which is not fused with other rings. For example, look here. In this structure, in this structure, the beta lactam ring is not fused with other rings. During that time, we can say these uh, lactams or uh, uh, beta lactams, uh, they are termed as monocyclic beta lactams. If there is two, we can say it is bicyclic. If it is three, we can say tricyclic beta lactam antibiotics. But the most popular beta lactams available on the market nowadays are monocyclic or bicyclic because uh, this monocyclic and uh, bicyclic they are potent antibiotic compounds also based up on the uh, ring meaning that the ring that is fused with a beta lactam ring they may be classified like five membered unsaturated here a five member five member carba penims oxa penims uh, penims also Penims, uh, they are five membered rings. Based up on the fused rings, they may be also classified. Uh, also, some others are uh, six membered rings. For example, here we have six membered rings here. Here, the six membered rings carba sephims, oxa sephims, also. Cephims, they are six member. The beta lactam ring is fused with the six member. Look here, this is the six membered ring. This is the six membered ring. This is six membered ring, six membered ring. Therefore, based upon the fusion, also they are maybe five membered. For example, five membered uh, ring is which is fused with beta lactam is, uh, example is penicillin. In the case of penicillin, we have five membered ring. Here, look, the beta lactam uh, ring is fused with 
five member thiazoldin ring in the case of cephalosporins the beta lactam ring is fused with six membered ring dihydrothiazine therefore based up on the fusion also they may be classified also based up on the uh, saturation they may be classified some of them they are saturated some of them they are unsaturated beta lactam antibiotics let's see the first common type of uh, 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 beta lactam antibiotic by the way penicillins and cephalosporins they are the most studied beta lactam antibiotics also they are the most common uh, this is the general structure for uh, penicillin this is the structure of penicillin this is the structure of penicillin penicillin it has the beta lactam ring which is fused with five membered thiazoldin ring and the first penicillin natural penicillin is the penicillin which was discovered by alexander fleming in 1929 it has the acyl side chain here this is called an acyl side chain this is the acyl side chain on the acyl side chain on the r part if there is benzyl penicillin like this this is called benzyl penicillin this is benzene penicillin this is benzene penicillin it is natural penicillin when r is this group it is called benzene penicillin or penicillin g which was discovered by alexander fleming later to increase the stability of this natural penicillin uh, some modification was takes place mainly introduction of electron withdrawing group on the carbon between the aromatic carbon introduction of uh, oxygen electron withdrawing group between the ch2 the ch2 and the aromatic carbon produces the semi-synthetic the first semi-synthetic derivative of natural penicillin called phenoxymethyl penicillin or penicillin v generally natural penicillin it has this structure this is the common structure for many of the uh, penicillin derivatives this is common many penicillin derivatives they differ from each other by this R group or acyl amino group it is sometimes called or amide group or it is called acyl side chain therefore this is the structure by the way when we come to the nomenclature of natural penicillin or penicillin analogous uh, we have two common uh, naming or numbering or nomenclating methods one is the upac nomenclature method that is sometimes called cas nomenclature method numbering will start from sulfur carbon that is sulfur is number one this is number two this carbon is number three nitrogen in the heterocycle is four then five then six then the carbonyl carbon is seven that is called a upac nomenclature or cas nomenclature the second nomenclature for uh penicillin is uh number one is nitrogen that is called usp nomenclature it is not common USP nomenclature is not common like that of uh, it's not common like that of the uh, IUPAC nomenclature. In this case, USP means United States Pharmacopoeia nomenclature method. In this case, nitrogen is number one. The carbonyl or carboxylic acid containing carbon is number two. This is number three. Sulfur is number four and five six seven this is the nomenclature this way is not common nomenclature for pe <coughs> sorry penicillins penicillin contains a highly unstable bicyclic system here penicillin has the four member the beta lactam ring the four member the beta lactam ring and the five member the beta uh, sorry thiazoldin ring this the five membered and the four membered beta lactam ring they are highly strained there is a torsional effect therefore they are highly susceptible for reaction in acidic media or in aqueous media 
Therefore, as I told for you that penicillin or penicillin derivatives they have this common skeleton. This is the common skeleton for or scaffold for many of the penicillin derivatives. Therefore, penicillin's derivatives or other penicillin derivatives of natural penicillin they differ from each other by this array group this is the place where penicillins they vary depending upon the makeup of the media let's see pens the general structure of penicillin g and the penicillin v penicillin v is the first semi-synthetic derivative of natural penicillin why it is synthesized? What is the importance of production or uh, 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 designing of penicillin V or phenoxymethyl penicillin? Because natural penicillin is unstable. It is susceptible for acidis. It is labile for acidis. And it is not given orally. Therefore, due to this one, it is better to design to develop natural penicillin. Therefore, in the case of natural penicillin, the R group is the R group is phenyl methyl phenyl group. This is the phenyl group. But in the case of pen V, it is phenoxy group. There is oxygen electron withdrawing group. This is the first uh, semi synthetic derivative. Therefore, how these penicillin analogues like phenoxymethyl or pen V was synthesized therefore the different types of penicillin analogues they were synthesized by this mechanism this is how the preparation was takes place therefore this is the mechanism let's see the structure activity relationship of uh, penicillins number one this is the nomenclature this is the nomenclature number one here we have Sulfur. Sulfur is usual. In many penicillin derivatives, number one in the UPAC nomenclature, number one is sulfur. That sulfur is not essential for activity. There is no effect in the activity of penicillin. Even you can substitute this sulfur with carbon. You can substitute sulfur with oxygen. You can substitute sulfur with another element. There is no change in activity. Therefore, Sulfur is not used for efficacy, potency. It is usual in many compounds. At number two, carbon number two, there are two methyl groups. These two methyl groups, they are very important for chemical stability and for metabolic stability. Therefore, the compound penicillin derivatives they also depend upon the presence of the two methyl groups which are found at two positions. It's important for activity. It will keep the stability of many penicillin analogues. Number three, at three positions, penicillins, they have carboxylic group. You can see natural penicillin, pen V, amoxicillin, ampicillin, nafisillin, most of them, all of them, sorry, all of them, they have carboxylic group at three position. That free carboxylic acid is very essential for activity. Conversion of that carboxylic acid into alcohol or conversion into ester will decrease activity. But sometimes we can modify that carboxylic group this carboxylic group into is that the objective is to increase some penicillins they have the absorption problem transport problem uh, during administration therefore to increase the absorption profile transport profile to decrease the side effect we can convert that carboxylic group into prodrug form or salt form the objective is that carboxylic group is important to prodrug formulation during that time there may be the change in activity the activity may be decreased in to some extent but it is important mainly the carboxylic group as reposition is important for prodrug formulation another is the beta lactam ring 
the beta lactam and the thiazolin both the fused rings they are essential the bicyclic system is very important generally by the way compounds that contain i said at the beginning penicillins they may be or beta lactam sorry beta lactam they may be monocyclic or bicyclic generally the bicyclic system is very important for efficacy potency of beta lactam antibiotics therefore the bicyclic system is important and the carbonyl group is very important for nucleophilicity and at 5 and the 6 position here 5 and the 6 position there are hydrogens <coughs> sorry uh, hydrogens at 5 and the 6 position they are crucial very important mainly cis hysterochemistry very important and finally the amide side chain it is called a acyl side chain sometimes or amino side chain acyl amino side chain you can say also that group is very important for activity it determines the spectrum the activity of many beta lactam antibiotics also it determines the beta lactamase stability it determines acid stability it determines new generations of penicillins it's very important therefore by incorporating different groups on the side side chain we have large number of penicillin groups or penicillin analogues why is that what is that the pro production or development of penicillin analog is important because natural penicillin it has different large number of limitations to overcome these limitations it is important to elucidate the structure activity relationship and to have better compounds in place of penicillin the common problems that are associated with natural penicillin are the following natural penicillin is sensitive to acids stomach acids natural penicillin is susceptible and sensitive to beta lactamase enzyme or penicillinase enzyme by the way beta lactamase enzymes are enzymes that will degrade or that will open the beta lactam ring they will open this beta lactam ring or they inactivate penicillin in the case of penicillin the beta lactamase enzymes are called penicillinase for cephalosporins they are called cephalosporinase therefore the second main problem of natural penicillin is natural penicillin is susceptible for beta lactamase enzyme or penicillinase enzyme which will hydrolyze the lactam ring the beta lactam ring the third problem is natural penicillin it has narrow spectra it has limited range of activity therefore it is better to have a compound with better range of activity with broad spectra and the fourth one ha is penicillin has allergy natural penicillin it can show allergy in some patients therefore to overcome these problems it is better to drive to design new analogs of penicillin let's see acid sensitivity we said that natural penicillin is acid sensitive why what are the reasons for acid sensitivity of penicillins there are three very important things or reasons why penicillin is sensitive to acids look the structure of penicillin look the structure of penicillin here this is the structure of penicillin penicillin has carbonyl carbon on the beta lactam ring also it has the carbonyl group on the acyl side chain penicillin has also the highly strained beta four membered beta lactam ring also it has the five membered thiazolidin ring the first reason why penicillin is acid sensitive is the ring strain this penicillin has four membered beta lactam ring and five membered 
thiazolin ring as a result penicillin suffers large angle and torsional strain therefore acid catalyzed ring opening relieves this strain by breaking open the more highly strained four membered lactam ring then it will cause relieves ring strain during that time the activity of penicillin will lost that is the first reason why penicillin is acid sensitive the second reason is that on penicillin there is highly reactive beta lactam carbonyl carbon this is highly reactive carbonyl carbon which is found on the penicillin highly reactive beta lactam carbonyl group this carbonyl group it is highly susceptible for nucleophiles and as such does not behave like a normal tertiary amide which is usually create resistant to nucleophilic attack as a result the lone pairs that are localized on the nitrogen atom and the carbonyl group is far more electrophilic than one would expect for tertiary amide groups therefore it will form a carbon to nitrogen double bond impossibility of strain no activity it will be unreactive there is no reaction the activity will lost during that time that's why penicillin is acid sensitive thirdly the third one is that the influence of the acyl side chain similarly the on the acyl side chain there is the carbonyl group the carbonyl group that carbonyl group it can react with the beta lactam carbonyl group the carbonyl carbon then it will form another ring which is unreactive less potent no activity sorry therefore these are the three main reasons why penicillin is acid sensitive therefore natural penicillin is not given orally because it is sensitive to acids then how can tackle these problems how one can tackle therefore there are four very important strategies to tackle to overcome these problems in natural penicillin number one strategy one for oral activity for acid stability therefore varying the acyl side chain therefore changing the acyl group acyl side chain therefore introducing electron withdrawn group on the acyl side chain incorporation of electron withdrawn groups on the acyl side chain is important to decrease the nucleophilicity of the carbonyl group on the acyl side chain number two beta lactamase stability for beta lactamase stability it is better to introduce bulky groups on the acyl side chain that can shield the beta lactam from beta lactamase stable stable uh, from beta lactamase activities therefore this can block penicillins from further reaction therefore the size is very important therefore if the bulky groups they are introduced on the acyl side chain mainly the r position the compound will be beta lactamase stable which cannot undergo hydrolysis or cleavage by the beta lactamase enzyme the third one is to have broad spectrum antibiotics because natural penicillin has narrow spectrum it is better to introduce hydrophilic groups on the acyl side chain or hydrophobic mainly hydrophilic groups they will increase gram negative activity hydrophobic groups they will increase gram positive activity mainly the hydrophilic groups that are essential for the activity of gram negative bacteria mainly that are important to decrease the side effect that are associated mainly conversion of the three carboxylic group into ester formation of prodrug is very important they see the detail of this uh, uh, problems therefore uh, number one tackling acid sensitivity problem of penicillin as i told for you that penicillin has a side side chain that a side side chain is essential for activity the acyl side chain is important for activity here let's see this acyl side chain here 
on the sixth position we have uh, nitrogen next to nitrogen we have carbonyl carbon next to the carbonyl carbon we have the alpha carbon always on the sixth position on the sixth acyl side chain the carbon next to the carbonyl carbon is known as alpha carbon therefore to overcome the acid sensitivity of natural penicillin penicillin introduction of highly electron withdrawn group on the alpha carbon produces oral compounds acid stable compounds because the introduction of electron withdrawal group on the alpha carbon decreases the nucleophilicity of the carbonyl carbon on the acyl side chain that is the mechanism for example look in the case of in the case of pen v which is orally active look on the alpha carbon this is alpha carbon this is alpha carbon the carbon next to carbonyl carbon therefore introduction of sorry this is alpha carbon this is alpha carbon the introduction of electron withdrawn oxygen on the alpha carbon produces orally active compound therefore introduction of electron withdrawn group on the alpha carbon will produce orally active compounds which will reduce its tendency mainly the alpha the carbonyl group to act as a nucleophile the groups which are highly electronegative groups which can be introduced on the alpha carbon here may be nh2 oh or halogens like chlorine pho conh but not nh conhs mainly these are called amino penicillins they are because here nh conh they will cancel the electronegativity will be cancelled for with each other therefore except those groups the other groups they are potent electron withdrawal groups seo 3 h also seo 3 itself seo 3 uh, minus 2 no2 nitro group cyanide group and if the alpha carbon is part of the ring during that time the nucleophilicity of the carbonyl carbon will be diminished therefore the compound will be orally active will be acid stable therefore incorporation of the alpha carbon introduction or making the alpha carbon part of the heterocycle not cycle not other cycles heterocycles heterocycles are compounds that contain additional element to carbon therefore making the alpha carbon part of a heterocyclic ring also produces the carbonyl carbon less nucleophile this is important second tackling beta lactame sensitivity problem here we have a very important figure beta lactamase is the enzyme that will cleave that will open the beta lactam ring therefore introduction of bulky group on the acyl side chain look here look here this is bulky group if this bulky group is introduced on the acyl side chain the beta lactamase enzyme they will not act on the beta lactam ring because those groups they will sterically hinder the binding of the enzyme to the beta lactam ring the four member the beta lactam ring therefore this will shield this will sterically hinder the binding of the enzyme into the beta lactam ring therefore the enzymes they will not bind they will not bind with the beta lactam ring to inactivate it this is the mechanism generally generally here the introduction of the introduction of bulky group with ortho electron withdrawal group is very important in another word this means that if the alpha carbon we have here in this structure we have 
at sixth position we have amino group nitrogen next to the nitrogen we have a carbonyl carbon next to the carbonyl carbon we have alpha carbon number one if the alpha carbon is the part of the cycle whatever the cycle maybe heterocycle or non-heterocycle during that time it will shield the beta lactam ring then it will hinder the binding of the enzyme responsible for hydrolyzing deactivating the beta lactam ring because the beta lactam ring is very essential for beta lactam antibiotics for mechanism of action to react Therefore, if the beta lactam ring is open, the activity will lost. That's why we are shielding the beta lactam ring. Therefore, here, of if the alpha carbon is the part of any cycle, whatever the cycle, then it will be beta lactam is enzyme resistant or stable. By the way, beta lactam is stability is not guarantee for oral activity generally most of the time acid stable compounds they are orally active therefore the second very important thing is that to produce beta lactam is stable compound the second option is that introduction of introduction of uh, alkoxy group alkoxy or halogen at six position here we have R group. This will produce beta lactamase stable compound. Meaning that that compound also shields the beta lactam ring, inhibits the binding of the enzyme called penicillinase enzyme, beta lactamase enzyme. By this mechanism, uh, we will produce the beta lactamase stable compounds. The third tackling the limited range or increasing range of activity as we know that natural penicillin it has narrow spectrum therefore increasing the activity how we can increase the activity how we can increase the range of this penicillin analogs number one the same procedure here we have a six position we have nitrogen a side side chain six position on that nitrogen, we have carbonyl carbon, carbonyl carbon here. Next to the carbonyl carbon, we have alpha carbon. Therefore, introduction of hydrophilic groups, hydrophilic groups on the alpha carbon produces broad spectrum antibiotics, broad spectrum penicillin analogs. Also, mainly these hydrophilic groups, they will increase gram-negative activity. Sometimes also hydrophobic groups, they can increase gram-positive activity. Therefore, introduction of hydrophilic groups on the alpha carbon like NH2, OH, COH, carboxylic group, halogen like chlorine, also PHOCONH, any series of amino penicillin, NHCONH, SO3H, any hydrophilic groups on the alpha carbon, they increase the activity of penicillin analogs. Mainly, those compounds that contain this series, NHC or NH series, they have extended spectrum of activity. Then, these are important notes. Another one is that in the uh, production of uh, analogs of penicillin, another one is that this penicillin, it may have also some side effects and it may have pure absorption. Therefore, to increase the absorption problem or to increase the absorption problem, to increase the uh, absorption and transport through membrane, uh, one mechanism that the scientists, uh, medicinal chemists, they use is that uh, conversion of the carboxylic group as three position into prodrug is one mechanism. Also, this can alleviate decreases the side effect of many analogs of uh, penicillins. Uh, uh, this is the structure activity relationship and how new analogs of penicillin they were uh, developed 
and discovered. Uh, we will see some exercises on uh, these penicillin analogues, uh, to, uh, how, how they are uh, uh, beta lactamase stable. So, uh, these are important things.